Welcome Cancers, I'm back y'all with another video. So this is going to be a weekly video. If you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Happy to have y'all here with me today. Go ahead and consider clicking that bell so you won't miss out, miss out, I'm talking about miss, <laughs> miss out on future videos, okay? And as well, guys, I want to let you guys in on um, what I have going on for the month here on this channel. All right, so you guys, if you're interested in booking a personal, all of that information is in the drop box below. As well as if you're interested in booking, I'm sorry, not booking, but ordering from my website, you can also do that as well. Grand Rising. I got my little cousin Pharaoh here. He just walked in like, yeah, I just woke up. You woke me up, I woke you up. Wear your shirt. Go get your shirt. All right, so let's see what messages we have for cancer. Um, all of the information that you need, guys, is in the description box below. As, as well, guys, I'm uh, also doing a... Um, at the end of the month, I'm going to be choosing five people. Okay, so if you or if you order from the website, be sure to put your email address in. I don't think you can leave without checking out without putting in an email address. So I'm choosing five people who have booked personal readings with me and uh, either booked a personal reading with me or has shopped with me. I'm picking five people, five people who I'm going to either be giving away a free reading to or giving away a free product to. All right, so make sure you guys are staying tuned. All the information that you need is in the drop box below as well if you want to shop on, on my website, guys. I have a 20% off coupon that's also in the description box below, all right? So let's talk cancers. Let's see what messages we get for the cancer. What messages do we have for the cancer? All right, so we got the devil here. All right, some of you could be dealing with the Capricorn. Or some of y'all are spying on a Capricorn or a fire sign. I got Queen of Wands, and then I got the Queen of Cups. Maybe you're watching to see if somebody is doing something they don't have no business doing, or you see somebody doing something they ain't got no business doing. Um... Yeah, let's see what what's let's see what's going on. Something toxic could be going on right here, right now. All right, so we got the moon. Hmm. Knight of Cups. Okay. The Four of Swords. The Six of Pentacles. Hmm. Five of Wands. King of Cups. Three of Cups. Ooh. Five of Pentacles. The emperor and the judgment. <laughs> First of all, we got the moon here. So you can be dealing with the Pisces or a Cancer. Um, I got King of Cups here, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and I have Emperor here. Aries is energy. But I'm getting like somebody's tired. Let's see, why is the moon here? I'm getting that there's some things that are hidden. Some of you may be hiding something from somebody or somebody is hiding something from you or you think somebody is. Okay, that jumped out. Two of Swords and the Six of Wands. You're not sure if you, if it's right, though. You're not sure how accurate it is. But I feel like you think somebody is keeping a secret from you. You're not sure if if you're if you're correct though. Why is the moon here? Yeah, nine of wands. Somebody's trying to protect the secret. Somebody has a deep dark secret here. Somebody got a deep dark secret. Oh, then we got somebody telling the truth. Okay, so the truth needs to come out. The truth needs to come out. Y'all, hold on. Mm -hmm. 
So somebody here is hiding something. All right, nine of wands. Oh, hiding somebody hiding a secret. Why is the nine of wands here? The tower and the death card. I'm getting a Scorpio. Somebody, but I just feel like this is this is the secret. Scorpio is known for secrets. Like Scorpio is is a lot about things that are hidden. Okay. I feel like either you feel like someone is hiding something, possibly, that's the nine of wands here. Yeah, the Empress. Somebody feels like somebody is hiding something. The Empress is motherly energy here. So we got the mother and the father card here. Husband and wife, twin flame type energy. Um... Yeah, I'm getting like, you're worried, okay, that somebody's hiding something or keeping a secret, okay? Maybe because you feel like this person being too nice. Is that what it is? We got temperance here. It could be dealing with the Sagittarius. Maybe you feel like this person is being too nice, so you're like, ah, uh -uh, they got to be hiding something. <laughs> Why is the four of swords here? The four of wands, Okay. Maybe you think this person could be married or living with someone or that's the four of wands here. Yeah, the high priestess. <laughs> like, you just feel like this person is just not telling the truth. Like, you just feel like it's some damn secrets, okay? Why is the Knight of Cups here? Somebody's changing their story too much as well. And you just feel like something's just not right. Something's just not right. Your intuition is telling you that. Why are the Six of Pentacles here? The sun. Something that, something gave you a heads up. Something you just felt. You just can feel it like. It's like, mm mm, they being too nice. They done did something. Like you know this person. You know this person like a book. This is somebody that you know. This is somebody that you know, and you know how they is. Okay. Five of Wands. That could have been like some type of disagreement or argument in the past that you may have thought was over. Um, and then I feel like you may have felt like you won this argument, this battle, so you thought it was over. Uh, why is the King of Cups here in the future for future energy? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Two of Wands. Ooh, Three of Wands. I feel like you're waiting to see what this person's going to do, like their next move. You just you just feeling this person out because for some reason you just feel like this person is lying about something. You you just feel like, like I don't get the seven of swords. Seven of swords hasn't popped out, but I'm getting a lot of secrecy cards hidden. Okay, you maybe think that this person is playing, um, trying to play you. Why is the three of wands here? The lovers. And the two of cups, okay? So there is a connection here. Possibly with the, a water sign like you, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Maybe you're making plans for Valentine's Day. This could be Valentine's Day with the lovers and the two of cups. Or you're waiting to see what this person is going to plan for you for Valentine's Day. If they're going to buy you a gift. Why is the Three of Cups here? Four of Pentacles and the Hermit and the Seven of Wands. I keep getting Scorpio. Some of y'all done with Scorpio. Um, I feel like... You're being, you're, 
with the three of cups i'm getting like a celebration like celebrating or this is being social but i feel like you're holding back for some reason you don't want to hold you don't want to um Maybe you don't want to overextend until you see what they're what they have to offer or what they're giving you. Maybe this is something like you know what I'm getting. I'm getting that some of y'all may feel like somebody's hiding your gift for Valentine's Day. I'm just getting like because the Queen of Wands and the Star. I'm getting like special energy and then we got yeah like you hope okay you're hoping that you guys go out of town for the holiday okay see yeah see maybe the big secret is is that you're wanting to know what this person has planned for you for valentine's day <laughs> you want to know what this person got you you want this person to give you a heads up on what's getting ready to occur i feel like maybe y'all had got in some type of disagreement or argument in the past but it ended like and you feel like okay that's over with i won okay now what you gonna get me for valentine's day <laughs> all right five of pentacles your person could be going through some financial hardships over here yeah the queen of pentacles queen of pentacles and the page of pentacles king of pentacles lots of pentacles here they um they may be doing that to make you think um that you know oh i ain't gonna be able to do too much why the page of wands here the eight of pentacles lots of pentacles um somebody here might say that they have to go to work or they have to work <laughs> so they run into some issues why is the five of swords here and the world okay so they got some things that they need to wrap up regarding finances first um is what i'm seeing here okay we got temperance and queen of cups yeah they got to balance out some some options okay they got to balance out some things they got some stuff going on here and i feel like it's in regards to their finances okay now we got the emperor here queen of swords somebody here is uh real aggressive <laughs> Somebody here is real aggressive. They come out. Your person could be extremely like. Now you got the the emperor and the queen of swords. So I feel like this is somebody whose energy is extremely powerful in their words, like how they speak. Um, very dominant or very um powerful i'm getting real powerful like the words that they speak and how they say things and their vibration that they give off is extremely powerful okay page of cups oh ace of cups and the king of cup a king of wands somebody here is judging somebody Somebody here is judging somebody about what they are doing or how they're doing it. Okay, somebody's judging somebody. Yeah, somebody's judging somebody. It could be somebody on the outside with the King of Wands here, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. But And then I also have Pisces energy here too with the Hangman. But like somebody's judging somebody here with the Judgment card here and the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Cups. Like... There could actually even be like an ending or you are like, yeah, you're willing to walk away or somebody here is walking away because they feel like they got played. Like somebody's trying to stick them, <laughs> like somebody's trying to trap them or something like that. What's going on? The devil. Yeah, see, some of y'all feel, some of y'all are getting ready to walk away because you wanted more. You wanted, you wanted something more from them. Nine of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles. You want it more. You feel like you've been patient long enough. Okay, you want it more from them. And it's like this relationship is so toxic. This relationship could be real toxic. Like, you just like, man, you know what? I don't got time for this. 
you may have come up with a final decision. Look, some of y'all got um, already been socializing and talking to other people on the side already. And you just don't feel like this person. See, yeah, see, look at this. Knight of Wands, uh, Eight of Swords. This person may be non-committal. And you're looking for somebody who's more exclusive, like somebody who's more about their business, somebody who has more going on for themselves um, and not afraid of a commitment, not afraid to take that leap of faith. So somebody here is afraid to take a leap of faith or you feel that they are. They may come to you complaining about their money all the time, about how they work and they just don't ever have no money. This is that. And I feel like you could be getting a little tired of that. Some of y'all are waiting for something real, authentic. And not authentic doesn't necessarily just mean like money-wise, but it's just somebody who's more stable, somebody who's more uh, physically stable, mentally stable, all of that, like just more practical. Like you feel like, look, you knew about, you knew Valentine's Day was coming uh, ever since last year. You knew Valentine's was coming six months ago. You knew Valentine's Day was coming three months ago. Like, you could have put saved some money up. It ain't no excuse. You know, I'm getting like that type of energy. Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. I'm going to chat with y'all later. Don't forget to check the description box, y'all. And I'm going to chat with y'all on another day. Ciao.